Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the preceding video, we learnt the classification of cephalosporins. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. Also, answer the multiple choice questions given in the community tab. In this lesson, we shall try to understand the structure-activity relationships and the mechanism of action of cephalosporins. Structure-activity relationships of cephalosporins The structure-activity relationship of cephalosporins forecast the relationship between the chemical structure of cephalosporins to its biological activity. The analysis of structure-activity relationship enables the determination of the chemical groups responsible for evoking a target biological effect in the organism. This allows modification of the effect or the potency of a biological compound, typically a drug, by changing its chemical structure. Many analogues of cephalosporins have been made which demonstrate the importance of the beta-lactam ring, a substituent at C3, an ionized carboxylate group at C4 and the acyl amino side chain at C7. Variations at cephalosporin core, in other words, nuclear variations. Replacement of sulfur with oxygen leads to oxacephems with increased antibacterial activity. Similarly, replacement of sulfur with methylene group that is a CH2 group or simply carbon atom has greater chemical stability and a longer half-life. Oxidation of the ring sulfur to sulfoxide or sulfone greatly reduces the antibacterial activity. The carboxylate group at C4 can be converted into ester products to increase bioavailability of cephalosporins and these can be given orally as well. Olefinic linkages, that is the double bond present at C3-4, is essential for antibacterial activity. Isomerization of the double bond 2 to 3 position leads to great loss of activity. C3 substituents. The nature of substituents at C3 influences both pharmacokinetic and pharmacological activities. Modifications at this position can reduce the degradation that is lactone of desacetyl cephalosporin of cephalosporins. Carbon 7 alpha substituents. Introduction of carbon 7 alpha methoxy group shows higher resistance to hydrolysis by beta lactamase enzymes. C7 beta acyl amino substituents. Acylation of amino group generally increases the potency against gram positive bacteria but it is accompanied by a decrease in gram negative potency. High antibacterial activity is observed only when the new acyl groups are delivered from carboxylic acids for gram positive bacteria. Substituents on the aromatic ring phenyl that increases lipophilicity provide higher gram positive activity and generally lower gram negative activity. The phenyl ring in the side chain can be replaced with other heterocycles with improved spectrum of activity and pharmacokinetic properties and these include thiophin, tetrazole, furon, pyridine and amino tetrazoles. Mechanism of action of cephalosporins. Cephalosporins are bactericidal and have the same mode of action as other beta-lactam antibiotics such as penicillins but they are susceptible to beta-lactamase enzymes. They block the critical step in bacterial cell wall synthesis. The cell wall of bacteria is essential for the normal growth and development. Peptidoglycan is a heteropolymeric component of the cell wall that provides rigid mechanical stability by virtue of its highly crossed linked structure. The peptidoglycan is composed of glycan chains which are linear chains which means they are the linear strands of the two altering amino acids N-acylglucosamine abbreviated NAG and N-acylmuramic acid abbreviated NAM that are cross-linked by peptide chains. See the figure. The biosynthesis of peptidoglycan involves four steps. Number one, formation of uridine diphosphate N-acetylglucosamine from fructose 6-phosphate. Number two, formation of UDP N acetyl muramic acid from UDP N acetyl glucosamine. Number three, assembly of the peptide stem leading to UDP muramic N acetyl pentapeptide. And number four, side pathways of synthesis of D glutamic acid and the dipeptide D alanyl D alanine. 
the cross linking is catalyzed by the enzyme transpeptidase in the aforesaid biosynthesis of peptidoglycan firstly the terminal alanine from each peptide is hydrolyzed and secondly one alanine is joined to lysine through an amide bond cephalosporin binds at the active site of the transpeptidase enzyme that cross links the peptidoglycan strands it does this by mimicking the dialanyl dialanine residues that would normally bind to the site cephalosporin irreversibly inhibits the enzyme transpeptidase by reacting with a serine residue in the transpeptidase this reaction is irreversible and so the growth of the bacterial cell wall is inhibited since mammalian cells do not have the same type of cell walls cephalosporin specifically inhibits only bacterial cell wall synthesis the last step in peptidoglycan synthesis is inhibited by all beta lactam antibiotics in this case the cephalosporins the transpeptidase enzyme that contains serine is probably acylated by beta lactam antibiotics with cleavage of a con bond of the beta lactam ring as shown in the red color in the figure this renders the transpeptidase enzyme inoperative and inhibits peptidoglycan synthesis this is the list of references followed for the lesson that's all in this video the structure activity relationships and mechanism of action of cephalosporins in the next lesson we will learn the beta lactamase inhibitors till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos thank you for watching this video